Congratulations to everyone in today's live session in favor of Connect Page. My dear every learners, how are you? I am Rafi Ahmed with you, assistant teacher, English, Greenview High School, Chapman Ogunj. Okay, my dear learners, is everything okay? Please respond me, is everything okay? Okay, dear learners, before going to our class, I want to tell you something. Actually, our today's class is about English second paper class. Especially, it is for class 9, 10 and it is also for all the classes. Okay, learners, at first, I want to show you something. Do you want to see? Yes. Okay, look at this. Can you see this? Yes. What is this? This is a mango. Okay. And then, can you tell me what is this? Yes, of course. This is an elephant. And now, can you tell me where is the mango? Yes, of course. Now, the mango is on the elephant. Okay. So, learners, please try to gauge what may be our today's topic. Please try to gauge. I have told you, this is a mango. This is an elephant. And the mango is on the elephant. So, what may be our today's topic? Who can tell me? Yes, you have, you have told correctly. Our uh, today's topic is about article. Okay, learners. Our uh, today's topic is about article. Okay, my dear every learners. Now, what is actually article? You know, A, N and D. That means A, N and D are called article. And where these articles are used? Actually, the article is used before noun to show whether the noun is specific or not. Do you understand? Yes, of course. And you also know there are two types of article. One is called indefinite article and another is called definite article. Okay, learners. Look at this here. This is A and N. And the meaning of A and N are the same. And A and N are indefinite article. And here you see D. It is definite article. That means when we want to mean anything very specifically, then we use D. And when we normally tell anything, not targeting that, then we use A or N. Such as, you can tell me, I need a pen. Please give me a pen. That means you can give me any pen. It may be red, it may be black or any pen. But when I will indicate you please give me the red color pen then you will give me this pen okay learners so d is for definite article and a and n is for indefinite article okay learners and now i want to see who are joining with us yes i see uh, many one has joined with us and my dear every learners, please share this video with your friends so that your every friends can enjoy our class. Okay, thank you very much. And now, I want to tell you one important thing. Okay, and please give importance on this thing. And this thing is that, actually article is used based on sound or based on pronunciation not later okay you will not think 
article is based on letter no actually article is based on sound or pronunciation but how now we will see this okay so look at this here you can say this is orange and here you see the first letter of this word orange is o this, you know this is vowel and you also know one thing we have five vowels okay a e i o e o and we think if the first letter is vowel then article will be n and if the first letter is consonant then article will be a we think that but actually we have to remember that we will give importance on pronunciation or sound okay here this is orange and it is vowel sound so you will use here n and look at this this is ball so what will you use here a ball or n ball of course a ball okay learners and uh, learners uh, you actually know that our time is very limited we will get just for 40 minutes time so in this class we will try our best to discuss about indefinite article that is about a and n and in our next class we will discuss the omission of article okay so here you see this is ball this is ball so this is consonant sound so for this region here you have used a and i want to show you very exceptional thing okay so look at this what are the exceptional things here you see this is h o n e s t so what is this this is honest look at this word very carefully okay here this is honest first letter is h and you know h is consonant h is not a vowel but here what is the sound honest that means here it is like h is hidden okay we are pronouncing here o n e s t like honest so what will be the article here what will you use here before honest of course you will use here an that means an honest man he is an honest man okay and again you see what is this again this is our not our okay and again you see here first letter is h but pronunciation or sound is here what actually here sound is our so who can tell me what will be the article here actually for vowel sound we will use article and and for consonant sound we will use article a okay so for our we also use n and then you see this is not here actually it is a or what do you mean by a or actually a or means next generation okay so before a or because you see here h is also hidden for pronunciation this is a or and before a or you will use an and then you see honorable that means who is very respected and you also see the first letter is h which is consonant but sound is vowel here so you have to use here article n again okay learners if you have any query please tell me and again i am telling you please please share this video with your friends so that your every friends can get the opportunity to enjoy our class here i see uh, many learners have joined with us and i will read your comment your response after few minutes okay and then you see here this is what university 
okay and look at this here first letter is what u and you know u is vowel okay and you normally know for vowel you use n like umbrella or ugly here what you use here you will use an umbrella i need an umbrella please give me an umbrella an ugly she is an ugly woman okay but here you see university okay my dear learners you will remember that when the pronunciation of u pronunciation of this u is like u then you have to use article a instead of n okay again i am telling you when the pronunciation of u is like u that means like u then you have to use here article a so what is the pronunciation here university so what is the article here actually before university you will use article a okay and again you see what unit and here pronunciation is also like u then you see useful and here also pronunciation is like u and then you see unique here also pronunciation is u okay so what will be here of course a not n okay learners and can you tell me another word which starts from the letter u and sound is also like u if you can please response me by comment okay okay learners i hope you have understood it and then you see one thing here and it is one okay what is this here this is one when you will and you see here first one is o and you know o is also vowel but you have to remember you have to keep it mind when o is pronounced like wa then you have to use article a instead of n okay okay learners here you have seen one example orange here the first letter is o but here pronunciation is not like orange this is orange okay and here you see one that means here pronunciation is like wa or this o and you pronounce here one it is not on okay it is actually one so here what will be the article of course again a a one taka note a one eyed man a one act play okay okay learners then you see last one here european and first letter is first letter is here e and you know e is also vowel but here exceptional thing is that if the pronunciation of e is like u again u then you have to use article a instead of n okay here you see pronunciation is european that means again like this u european and again you see u e actually do you know about u e this is the female gender of lamb you can tell i have a u e not i have an u e you can tell he is an not an european he is a european okay dear learners and if you have any question please tell me by comment and now uh, i want to see your comment
Okay, here I see Rashid Ali is writing wonderful. Thank you. And Astraful Islam Shah is writing praise for the presentation. Thank you, sir. Uh, here MD Nashir Jaman is writing the ear sound U hole consonant sound hoy or so the ear sound I am not the power sound hoy yes of course uh, Shopping Islam uh, sir is uh, watching us and he is writing wash other and he said the body for what you have money who she thought thank you Abu Kalamazan sir is writing extraordinary Shaima Islam is writing unicom of course this is another word Sheikh Shamima, hi. Okay, hi to you. Amy Mumin is writing smart lesson. Thank you for inspiring us. And I will advise you, everyone, please share this video with your friends so that your every friends can get the opportunity to, to enjoy our class. And Zahinu Rahman Zahin is writing a university A. That means you are responding with us. Thank you very much. Shad is writing hello. Hello to you, Sheikh Shamina. Hi, thank you. MD Hashibur Rahman is writing Oshadharan class. Thank you. Okay, uh, here I see many learners have joined with us, and if you have any query, please tell us. Okay, okay, learners. Uh, now you will see another thing where you have to use article A and and okay learners so um, before seeing please again i am telling you share this video with your friend okay my dear learners now i will show you another chart here there is another chart for you okay can you see please response me by comment is it visible to you okay my dear every learners again attention to me here you see M P L L B S I B A F C P S. That means here you see some abbreviated words. Okay, here actually M P. That means member of parliament, and this is abbreviated of word for member of parliament. And what will be the article here actually? Here you will give importance on pronunciation. This is here first letter is M, and it is consonant. But here sound is aim. Here sound is actually aim. So here you will use article. What can you tell me? If you can tell, please tell me by comment. What will be the article here? Okay, look at this. Here you see M. That means this is like M. And pronunciation is vowel sound. M. So you have to use here article what? Of course, article N. And then you see L, L, B. Here you see first letter is L. This is consonant. But pronunciation is L, L, B. Again, A is coming here. So here it will be N. And then S, I. Though S, I, S is consonant. But S, this is again like S. Okay. So you have to use again N. And then you see B, A. Here first letter is consonant and here sound is also consonant B A B. So what you will use here? Of course A. 
and then FCPS and uh, like these words you will find many many words and if you can tell me another abbreviated words please uh, response me by comment and then you see singular noun okay and actually what is singular noun you will use article a or n before any singular noun and before plural noun you can you will use article d and article d is also used before singular noun and before plural noun but article a and n are used of course before singular noun like you can tell i have a pen this is singular noun okay and if you tell i have two pens then you do not have to use any article here okay and then you see profession or business for profession or business what you will use here of course a or n but how you can write here he is a businessman so before businessman what you will use he is a teacher okay here teacher is a profession and before teacher what you will use he is a teacher and you can write he is a businessman okay and then you see exclamatory sentence and sometimes for exclamatory sentence you have to use article a or n but how okay you can write what a nice pen it is this is actually exclamatory sentence okay and here you are using article a because here a is consonant sound okay so for exclamatory sentence you will use article a or n and last one here you see unknown name or unknown designation unknown person if you do not know the person then you will use article a like a chakraborty came here yesterday that means you do not know about this person okay my dear learners and if you have any question if you has any query please tell us by comment and please respond by comment okay learners and now i want to give you a chance just for 2 minutes to play game and next you will see about your homework okay and uh, please tell me if you want to play here i am writing some letters for you okay this is about r e c a uh, a t i and l okay here you see <coughs> there are seven letters and you have to make one new word with these wrong ordered letters these wrong ordered letters will make a new word together okay and who can tell me first i want to see who can tell me first okay who can tell me first i want to see what will be the new word here you see the letters are r e c yes Taushin Tuhin, congratulations to you. Congratulations to you, Taushin Tuhin. You you are the first person who have told us actually these wrong ordered letters are stand for R T K L. That means this is very related to our today's topic. Okay, this is R T K L. Okay, I am writing your word. R T K L. 
Actually, this is article. Okay, learners. And now, I am to tell you another thing. And can you make another new word with these letters? It may be for two letters or it may be for three letters or, or four letters, five letters, six letters. Okay. Here you see uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven letters. Okay. And can you make another new word? It may be with two letters or three letters. Okay. Uh, who can make at first? Yes, Flora Flora is writing uh, recall and uh, before Flora, actually Binoy uh, is writing recall. Okay, thank you. Uh, recall, uh, of course it is one. And can you tell another, anything? Who can tell me another word? Who can tell me please? Response me by comment. Yes, uh, Ramin is writing this is call, of course call and there will be many many new words here and it will make you very very creative and very very competitive also because uh, there is a competition who can be the first and here you will storm your brain and after that you will make a new word and this is my suggestion uh, to you that you will make new sentences with these new words at your home. And you will respond to us by comment, okay? What may be the new sentence with recall, with call, with article? And if you can make the new word here by storming your brain, and if you make new and new sentences, then it will help you to improve your free handwriting. Okay, if you want to gain your free handwriting skill, then you will make here new and new words. And after that, you will make new and new sentences. And is there anyone who are telling anything? Yes, uh, Zain Rahman is writing clear, Flora, Flora is writing art. Farhana is writing wow presentation. Okay, thank you. Okay, my dear every learners, thank you very much uh, for your participating in the game. And again, I am telling you, you will practice this game at your home with your uh, with your uh, brother or sister or with your parents. Okay, and or with yourself. And you will make new word and new sentences. And then you will see what will be the result actually. Okay. Okay, my dear every learners, if you have any questions, please tell us by comment about article A or N. Actually, this is our class about article A and N. And in our next class, we will discuss about article B. And you will get article B by poem also. Okay. And then you will see omission of article. That means where an article is not used. Okay, my dear every learners, before closing our class, now you will uh, see your homework. So please wait for your homework. Okay, my dear learners, please look uh, at your homework and you will, uh, you will make your homework within a few days. Okay, and this is about English is dash international language. And actually, this homework is based, is based on article A or N. You do not have to use any cross article or D. Just from today's lesson, you will write A or N. This is about English is dash international language. Then 
today english is must in order to get dash good job so it helps dash man to get dash honorable job okay then you see dr johnson is dash european as he is dash english man he knows dash english well he is dash honorable to everyone though he is dash one eyed man here you see dr johnson is one eyed man but he is very respected okay my dear learners actually this is about your homework and here we are going to conclude our class and see you again in our next class and wish you all the best bye Thank you.